guys welcome back to my kitchen i hope everybody is having a wonderful day today it is a gloomy rainy day outside and my dogs just come in so if you hear them running around the house it's them especially my pup she is wet because she was playing out in the rain so she feels the need to jump on all of the furniture <laughs> so she's she's running around the house currently as we speak attacking the furniture but anyways like I said it's a gloomy day outside today today I'm going to be making my lacto fermented salsa I love making this for football games um, barbecue season I love having it to dip chips in put it on tacos it's absolutely delicious you've never had a salsa like this we love it I've got all of my ingredients here set out ready to go I've managed to chop my uh, jalapenos and my garlic I always have jalapenos on hand we love spicy food so I buy jalapenos in bulk um, and then I just um, I chop them all up I ferment half I freeze the other half so we always have jalapenos on hand and I've got my garlic chopped up ready to go so we're just going to go over all of the ingredients and we'll get this going because this has got to ferment for about 24 hours so let's go over all of the ingredients and we'll get started okay guys so I've got everything set out here ready to go it's a very very easy recipe the hardest thing is letting it ferment um, like I said, I managed to go ahead and get my jalapenos and my garlic chopped between the dog running through the house. Um, this is just one seeded and diced jalapeno. I've got about five cloves of garlic in here that I've just got finely minced. I've got some salt water. All I did was bring some water to a simmer put a teaspoon of salt in here this is about a half of a cup put a teaspoon of salt in there stir it up until it dissolved and then I let it cool to room temperature I've got four tomatoes an onion the juice of two lemons in here I've got parsley thyme caraway seeds and some salt now this is Korean sea salt I love using this for fermenting um, when you do fermenting you're going to use about one teaspoon per two tomatoes so um, I've got two teaspoons in here but I will leave the full written recipe on my blog so that way you can go there and print it off and you can make this for you and your family so let's get this going because I am making some tacos tomorrow for dinner and I'm so excited to have this to put on my tacos okay so I've got everything set up ready to go I've got my tomatoes here all I did was just took the top part off the tomatoes and took off any bad parts these are just some tomatoes that I had sitting out that I need to use up so we're gonna make salsa with them I've got a bowl here to mix everything in I've got two jars these are um, little small jars uh, that we're going to use and I've also got my fermenting weights you can use cabbage leaves if you want I just bought these off of Amazon they're very affordable you can buy a pack of five um, and I love using these for fermenting so I've got all of that ready and I'm just going to set these to the side here get them out of my way I've got everything else over here to the side we're gonna start with our tomatoes now um, you can cut these tomatoes however you like I like to do fairly big chunks of tomatoes that's just my personal preference but you I've really got to sharpen this knife but you can cut them however big you want um, I've really got to sharpen this knife guys let me swap out my knife 
because these are very soft tomatoes and this knife is a little bit more sharp so that way I can sharpen the other one later and all you're gonna do is just cut your tomatoes however big you want um, and then just add them to your bowl and try to get as much of the tomato juice in your bowl as you possibly can because that is going to help with the flavor and the fermenting process later on when we ferment it so all I'm going to do is just go ahead and chop up all of my tomatoes and I will meet you right back here and then we will move on to chopping some onion okay guys so I've got all of my tomatoes chopped up and in my bowl I've already gone ahead and chopped up the other half of my onion and I just cut this piece in half and then into little sections and all you're going to do now is just chop this onion up as fine as you can get it I mean it doesn't have to be too too fine um, I just like it to be a bit smaller than the tomatoes because I don't want to bite down on huge chunks of onion Whew, these onions are pretty fresh so I'm just going to go ahead and add all of this in here and like I said make sure you get as much as the t of the tomato juice into your bowl as you possibly can because that is going to help um, with the fermentation process so I'm going to wipe up some of this juice that I got on the counter here not too much we managed to save pretty much all of it and I'm going to get me a mixing spoon and we're just going to add in the rest of the ingredients the jalapeno you can add more jalapeno if you want I find that one jalapeno is plenty for us um, as well as the garlic you can add as much or as little as you want if you're not a garlic fan you can add one clove it's pretty much up to you we love garlic so we add a lot and I've got my spices here just gonna add all of that in there my lemon juice And I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this together and as you can see I've got quite a bit of juice in there and that's what we want so just go ahead and mix all of this together and then we will move on to the next step okay so I've got you zoomed out just a little bit more and I've got my jars here I've got two of them I may need another one we'll see when we get there I've just got two out just in case and uh, you're gonna need your fermenting weights now you're gonna fill your salsa up to the fill line most of the jars now come with a fill line for uh, freezing that's why uh, you're gonna need the extra space so when you put your fermenting lid in your fermenting weight in there it will submerge everything down beneath the brine so the fill line if yours doesn't have one on there it's right below the bottom lip of the jar here so about a quarter uh, a quarter of an inch down from the bottom lip so and I've gone ahead and switched out my spoon because I was making a complete mess with the other spoon and I've got everything mixed together and that's what it looks like it smells absolutely delicious and tomorrow when this is done fermenting it's going to be even more delicious so just go ahead and fill your jar with the salsa and the brine 
to the fill line. And get as much juice in there as you can. I'm going to get my little ladle here and get some of this brine. Now I've got the briny water over here just in case I need it. Um, because when I put my weight down in there, I want everything to be submerged beneath the brine. So hold it over the bowl here and uh, just take out anything that floats across the top there. Wipe your jar on the, out part, uh, the outer part of your lid and pop your lid on. It doesn't have to be tight because the gases need to come out and I'm going to fill up as many jars of this delicious salsa as I can possibly get and then I will meet you right back here and I will explain how long to let this sit. Okay, so I've got three beautiful, beautiful jars of salsa and I hope you can see that. It looks absolutely delicious and it smells amazing. So I've got my lids on there um, pretty loose because if you put the lids on there tight, it's not going to be good. It's going to be a mess and you don't want that. And I've also got it in my little glass dish here to catch any of the brine that may come off of it during the fermenting process. Now I usually let this ferment for 24 hours because I find that the flavor is just perfect. But you can, you can let this ferment between 12 to 32 hours, 36 hours. Um, it really depends on your taste preference. You can go um, and try it at hour 12 and if it's if it tastes good to you and it's not salty and it's got a nice flavor to it it's good to go for you I find 24 hours for us is just perfect so I'm gonna let this sit on the counter for 24 hours and this will be ready to go when I make tacos tomorrow you can serve this in as many ways as you can regular off-the-shelf salsa. Um, you can drain this after it's fermented and make some, um, uh, what's it called? It's the one with the cheese and the salsa mixed together. That's really good. My husband likes to do that. My daughter likes it on tacos and she eats it straight out of the jar with the little scoops. Uh, Tostinos, I think that's what they're called. Um, they're really good with pork skins. Um, you can do them in like little quesadillas, just drain off a little bit and sprinkle it on some chick, uh, quesadillas, um, maybe some beef or chicken quesadillas, whatever you want to do. It is very, very versatile and it is absolutely, absolutely delicious. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I will leave the full written recipe for my fermented salsa on my website. Um, you can click the link in the description box below. Um, it's also pinned in the comment section. Just click that link. It'll take you right there. You can search uh, fermented salsa. The search bar is on the right hand side of my blog. It's just a little search bar. Just type in fermented salsa. It'll pull it right up. And uh, yeah, the whole full written recipe will be on there. I normally try to have my recipes up before the recipe goes live on YouTube. But sometimes it doesn't happen um, because I get super, super busy and I forget but I try to put it up as fast as I can when I remember. So usually it's either up before the video goes live or a day or two after. So just keep, keep an eye on it. I get super, super busy guys and I tend to forget what I'm doing sometimes. But the recipe should be up there as, as of right now when you're seeing this video, it should be up. 
but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and take that little notification bell so you'll remember um, it will remind you when I post new videos I post every Monday and Thursday at 7 a.m. and as you can tell I'm still congested and it's bothersome but anyways we're gonna go enjoy some dinner and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys